What's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. Well today I wanted to get a little bit into the sound and the lights module of RC. And I found that there's a lot of different kits out there and I've never really been too impressed with you know what comes in the kit. So I recently bought this. It's called the Container Truck and Lighting Voice Vibration System. This is the entry level one. And you'll see here it's item 103061. I'll put a link in the description. I got this off AliExpress. You could probably get this off of Banggood or anywhere else. There's also different levels of these kits. So when you look at the box or the description, look for this particular picture. This module here is a little bit different than the other ones. There's some that have a uh, feature that allows you to do Bluetooth. And I have another one like that. It's uh, a little bit different. It comes with 50 different sounds. This one comes just with the truck sound, okay? So your big rigs, your trucks that are, you know, carrying um, containers and all that other stuff. That's the sound that this comes with. And we'll get into the sounds a little bit later, but I wanted to go through the actual hookup of this because it's a little bit confusing and I wanted to make it a little more clear for those of you out there. I searched YouTube for like how to put this together and every video is from like far away, right? So like I have everything far away here, but I'm actually gonna bring it in and show you which wire goes to which location and what that wire does. And then we'll do a demonstration and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to make it function. So if you can, please bear with me, hang on, let's follow this. If you're into this part and you're doing the light and sound thing with your RC, follow this video and you'll be good to go. If you have any questions, let me know, leave a comment in the description. If you have a chance, please subscribe. All right now, so when you get your kit, you're gonna have a box like this one. And it comes with everything, everything pretty much on this uh, picture. The only difference is this speaker here. I took the outside off and I just have the speaker. Why? It's all the room. That box is pretty big. It's about like four inches by inch and a half by another two to three inches. So it takes up some considerable space. I took it off. It's not a big deal. You can leave it on. Now, what do you get with this? Well, with the entry level, you do get a vibrating motor which is right there okay so it has a brass piece here and it's pretty heavy and it has a 90 degree bracket that holds the motor and the motor has a servo connection with only two wires okay not going to get into this in this video if you want that sound you can i mean the vibration unit you can do that you just plug it in there's a spot here that's for the vibrating motor um, and if you want to make it work, just flip a switch and that should work. But I'm not going to do that in this video. It's kind of easy. So let's get into the more technical stuff. So what you get, you'll get a connector like this, which has a uh, servo to a Dean's. If you're going to connect like that, we're not going to do that. So we're going to put that aside. We're going to keep our speaker. The speaker is going to be connected directly to the speaker loudspeaker okay, let's turn this around here for you guys so we can see it normally and make sure we understand this okay so the speaker follow the wire okay and it goes to loudspeaker number one okay speaker goes to loudspeaker one connect it make sure that the black wires on the bottom and the red wires on the top okay you'll see there's three different prongs here so of those three prongs, you want the black wire in the bottom and the red wire just above, okay? So we don't have any issues. Next, you're gonna have this connector, okay? And this connector is pretty much your lead uh, balance or your balancing plug, okay? And there's only two wires on here. That's gonna supply power. And it's the same thing. We're gonna have red wire on top, black wire on the bottom, and it goes to the seven to 12 volt power supply, okay? You see the vibrating motor there is on number two, but we're skipping that, we're going straight to this. 12 volts, 7.4 volts, LiPo batteries, okay? And we're gonna grab a LiPo battery. This is the LiPo battery I'm gonna be using. It's a Gen Z's 1300, 11 volts. Um, you can use seven volts, not a problem. Okay, so we have a different connector here. It's a JST, and we have the, um, the uh, now I forget the name of this thing the balance uh, plug, okay? So this is gonna connect to this guy 
later on, okay? That's the power for this module. And then the other one's going to go to your RC vehicle or to the ESC, right? We're going to plug that in there. We'll get to that a little later. And then on the opposite side is all these plugs. I've pre-connected them because it's really easy. You just figure out this is orange or red or white and you plug them into the corresponding spots. So the first one is your turn signal left. So there's two cables for that. That'll be your oranges, okay? Get your oranges, make sure that each orange is for that side. There's two, right? So if one's for the left, two, these two are for the left, the next two are for the right. The headlights, there's three spots, four spots for that. So pick your, you know, your whites that are either a five mil or a 0.3, okay? So either ones and you'll notice the difference. This is a three mil and that's a five mil, okay? So look at the difference of those two guys, all right? You'll know that uh, you know which ones are which because each thing is labeled as five mil white. So you know when you're going to connect, connect them where you want to. Brake light is red. Find your red, plug it in. And then you have a backup light, which is going to be a white one. So you uh, plug those white ones in. Uh, another headlight set, and then you're going to have a status and a neutral. Okay. You're not going to worry about the neutral one. Your status light is going to be a red light. Okay. So pick one of your extra red lights because it comes with three red lights. Three. Two are for actual, um, sorry. Yeah. Three backup light by the four or five. So there's five. And one of them is your status light. Once the thing is powered up, one of these lights will be red. Okay. And I'll show you that in a sec. Now let's move on to the hard part. Okay. There's these connections here. There's input and output. So they give you four servo wires that are going to connect to your, uh, um, receiver. Okay. And we're going to do that connection right now. So let's do that. Moving on to the next part, which I mentioned is connecting these, these eight connections. Okay. We're only going to make six connections. But basically, we're going to get our receiver, okay? And you're going to plug them in, depending on your receiver. Um, I have a FlySky receiver here. There's six channels, but I'm using channels. Oh, let's get back and focus here. I'm going to use the first four channels, channels one, two, three, and four, okay? And for me, that's just how it's set up. If you have like a um, Spectrum or Futaba, it may be a different setup, but this is the way I have it set up so that when I'm doing throttle, it's the left stick. And when I'm turning, it's the right stick, okay? Uh, I'll show you that in a minute, how it actually works, but the way I have it is one, two, three, four, okay? Now, I'm gonna get each one of these to connect to the top part here, these four, okay? And it's not in the same order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go channel one from here, from the receiver, is gonna go into channel four up there, channel, three and two are going to stay the same. Okay. So we're going to do channel three and two from here is going to go into channel three and two. And then the last one here, channel one is going to actually be the last one here, channel four. Okay. So let's get those all connected. Okay. To the first one channel four is going into channel one okay push that guy in white to the top channel three is going to go into channel three here i can get this thing done okay so channel three into channel three uh sorry channel three into channel three Okay, let's make it a little bit backwards. Channel two from the receiver. Okay. This is channel two from the receiver is gonna go into channel two. Okay. And then the last one is, where are you, let go. Okay, finally, channel one from the receiver is gonna go into channel four. 
Okay? So, this is how it's going to look. All four of these. Remember, this is channel four on the receiver, and the top one here is channel one, okay? You can see, we're going to sort of make it look like this. All right, so this channel one wire is going into channel four here. And then two and three are in the two and three position. And then channel one here is this channel four, okay? So we'll lay it out and then we're gonna get to the bottom part. Okay, now that we've got everything connected, we are going to grab our model, the RC that we wanna connect to, okay? So from the RC, we're gonna have our ESC, um, well, this is the servo wire to the ESC, okay? We have an ESC right here. It's an electronic speed controller, which controls the wheel motion. This is gonna be plugging into channel two over here. So if you look, there's another one, two, three, four, the first four in channel two, it says ESC channel, okay? That's where we're gonna plug in our ESC. And then we're gonna get our steering servo, this guy right here, okay? And he's gonna plug into the direction, which is channel four, okay? So channel two, channel four. Now you're probably thinking, hey, I've got a truck that has a shifter, right? So it shifts gears because it's um, a three speed or a two speed or whatnot. There is a channel here for that. And the way that works is there's a channel uh, one and channel one at the bottom here is for the shifter, okay? Those will be the only three that you're actually gonna use. Now, we're all connected, okay? We've got all the connections on this side. We've got all the connections there. Uh, this is all done, okay? Just follow the colors into the spots that you want. Probably best to run all of this into your vehicle first. Um, that way you know it's all in the right location and then do the final connections here, but we're good, okay? So our Transmitter has all four, it's connected, our speaker's connected. Now we have to make the final connections, okay? And those final connections are the battery, okay? So battery main is gonna plug into the ESC, okay? Make sure your ESC is off, okay? Mine has a switch, which is down here, okay? Now this looks like a total rat's nest, but we'll fix it up in a second when we do demo. And then your balance plug here is going to connect to the balance plug from this box, which is tangled up in this mess here. Here, okay? First, we're going to get our transmitter. And why do I say this? We need the transmitter because we're going to be activating everything and we don't want this drive wheel to start going. We don't want this thing to go crazy. So we'll flip it on. Make sure that you've already binded your vehicle. Oh, there we go, this one doesn't like it when all the switches are down. Okay, ready to go. Okay, I've got it set up on this particular model. So let's just zoom out for a second here, okay? So it's all done. Now I'll connect this to the balance plug. You'll hear a sound, okay? And then I will turn this on and it'll provide power. Now check it out. Lights lit up. Um, the receiver here, okay? I don't know if you can see, there's a little red light inside. It says it's good. The ESC made its beep beep beeps. We're good there. So we're all connected, okay? And now the magic happens. We're going to see if we can get this to change the lights and make some sound. So part of the configuration is to make the sounds um, happen from moving your sticks on your receiver, or so your transmitter, okay? So let's do that. Let's get it all set up. And when I mentioned, remember that red light? Um, there's three red lights here right now, okay? These are the th two of the, the 
five millimeter ones. Okay, you probably can't really see, but they're on. And this is the status light. It's a little three millimeter one, okay? So that's the one that we need to make sure that when this is all powered on, that guy is on too, okay? These other white ones, these are driving lights. They're lights from the truck itself. Um, so yeah, let's uh, set up here and do a quick demonstration. All right, so for the sake of this, we're just gonna have the lights all mix mash in here and I'll grab the lights that matter. Um, but right now we have our brake lights on, okay? Those two, we have driving lights, but now we wanna hear the truck, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your drive stick and you're tap it to the side and now you hear the truck's running. All right, cool. So if I give it some gas, Okay, so when we give it gas, it goes, if you hit it hard enough, the brakes come on, right? So if you do the stick all the way back, the brakes come on, okay? And if you wanna go in reverse, okay, the reverse lights came on there. Now next, we wanna turn, right? So this is my turn. If I do this, the signals turn on, right? And you can hear the sound of the signals. If I turn the other way, the other signals turn. Cool, right? Okay, now, this is the most confusing part, but if we wanna make our hazard lights flash, or if we wanna have high beams or low beams, well, what we're gonna have to do is either go up, or to the side, no, it's down. Now we have our hazards, okay? So down and to the left turns on the hazards, okay? If we go to the right, those are just our regular lights. We have all our lights. We're gonna have it all off. Cool. We want to turn the truck off because we're done working for the day. Just press and hold. And there you go. That's it guys. If you have any other questions, let me know. When you're all done, please, 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 please make sure you unplug the balance plug or you'll run that battery down to nothing. Turn this off, okay? I had a, an issue where I left, I had an issue where I left the balance plug plugged in and this thing sucked power to the point where the battery didn't want to charge anymore and that's dangerous for lipos. So please make sure you always disconnect your balance plug. Guys, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section. And as always, subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. Till the next video, guys. Enjoy RC.